What's up guys and welcome to another video. So today I thought instead of doing just the kind of update thing, we try to make today a little bit fun. Uh, as you know, I try to stay on top of the comments. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love interacting with people. Um, and it's been two days since I've answered comments and I generally never do that. I try to answer them as quick as possible, but with moving and stuff, obviously uh, have some issues there. So I thought today would be a good day to jump in and do some answering comments, man. So we're gonna pop this up here and we are going to read through some comments. So uh, first one is from Ricky Douglas. It says, oh yes, I love horror like Friday the 13th and Michael Myers. Uh, that was on the video I did yesterday, which was my favorite horror movies. Yeah, I like Friday the 13th. Uh, as well, um, obviously, uh, and and Michael Myers. I do think Friday the 13th gets a little crazy. Although, saying that, one of my favorite uh, Friday the 13th movies, probably my favorite actually, is Jason Takes Manhattan, and that one is outlandish. Uh, my least favorite of the series, and this is not generally widely accepted, this would be heavily criticized, uh, Jason Goes to Hell is actually my least favorite Friday the 13th movie. I just, it's not that I hate it, but it's my least favorite one. Movie John, do you give people prizes for being first comment or second? That's funny when people just put first or second, just throwing that out there. So yeah, my second comment on this vid, nothing to do about movies. Yeah, I'm a professional mover. Should have hit me up. I would have helped you get it done in 14 hours or less. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't say anything. Uh, that's always been a thing on YouTube, and it's cool, man. It's cool to see people. Uh, just like to boost comments and stuff like that. It's cool. I like the uh, I like the companionship that I get on YouTube. Um, yeah, so I'm super grateful for that. Um, but um, as far as movies go, uh, as moving goes, yeah, I know that you uh, are technically a professional, or not technically, I guess you are a professional mover. You deliver furniture. Uh, it wouldn't have been a bad idea. Man, I've moved so much in my life. Like, we have moved, even just with Tracy, this is the fourth, hold on, we moved in together, and then we moved to Springville, then to here, then the house. So this will be the fourth different place that we have lived in seven years, and... Before that, I moved a ton, man. I moved from, like, my house to an apartment, back to my house to another apartment, back to my house to another apartment, and then with Trey. Like, I've just moved so much, and um, yes, I would like it done super, super quick, but it doesn't bother me taking time because I'm just, I'm so burnt out on moving, man, and it's stupid because I know that this would hypothetically be the last time, um, or, you know, should be for a while, but I'm just burnt out on it, so... Uh, movie John. Okay, this is the first comment. Uh, the Last House on the Left is one of my favorite Wes Craven films. Also, The Hills Have Eyes original. Yes, I do love the original Hills Have Eyes as well. Uh, that is, uh, but it's hard to pick my all-time favorite ever. Only saw the first three Saw films. Just started to be the same thing over and over for me. Uh, so I stopped at three. Yeah, I mean, the plot, like, I like Saw, but I think every movie, it almost became, I, I like the series, I like the gore and stuff like that, as I mentioned. But I do think that it got to the point to where it was a little bit ridiculous where every movie, they were like, all right, this movie can be fine, but there has to be some sort of crazy twist ending or else we can't do it. And I think it just started getting like convoluted and like wasn't really adding up and stuff like that. So I, I definitely can understand that. Uh, Sleepaway Camp films are cool, and I have the first three on VHS. That would be awesome. I would love to collect that. Uh, that's my favorite series ever. I, I love that so much. Uh, great video. I'd like to see more movie talk uh, like this from you, but you know uh, you would hear that from me. This stuff is... Juicy, I've always liked it too. Uh, yeah, the stuff. God, I love that movie so much. Uh, I like it of old films. Uh, the Conjuring and Insidious films are very good, I think. Yeah, I liked um, I liked Insidious a lot. I forgot about that movie, actually. So, yeah, I don't mind doing movie stuff. I like it. It's pretty cool. So, next up, 21 Pilots for Life just says the word fat. It's all good, man. I'm used to that. Thank you for the original insult. That's what I love about it, man. People are like, oh, if I call him fat, that'll really get to him. You have to be more creative with fat people, man, because we've heard it our entire life. Language Learning Lounge. Language Learning Lounge, by the way, fun fact. Uh, dude I met, did not meet, but I saw on YouTube, uh, I searched for an Esperanto. Sometimes I'll search for whatever language I'm learning at the time. And he had a sweet uh, video and uh, about Esperanto and uh, became a good friend. We co-hosted or... Well, I guess he's technically not a co-host, but he has been in, so far at, to this date, every uh, podcast that I've dropped on my language channel. Very, very cool, very knowledgeable dude, knows a couple of different languages, but um, do you watch foreign horror? I do. I love foreign horror. I love um, Japanese horror, uh, specifically. Um, I love all of Takashi Miike's works. Uh, like, I love the One Miss Call from Japan. I love... There's just so many things that I love. 
Um, I like Korean as well. Honestly, I like foreign horror in general. Um, I love, let's see, what, what else did you say here? The new French extremity movement is pretty fantastic. Okay. All of them are super gory and such, and most of them have really good meaning behind them. Some are just gory. My favorite is probably the Korean movie, Tell of Two Sisters. It was amazing. I accidentally saw the American remake in the Dollar Theater in my hometown and got pissed when I realized it was a remake. The original was a deep, dark movie about mental illness and such. The remake started with the line, I love you and I have a condom. That sounds like what America does. Um, yes, I do absolutely love foreign horror films. I have a huge thing for them. I love... Because, like, to me, the America, like, it's like we've lost the ability to tell stories. Like, we rely on jump scares, see The Grudge, and literally every horror movie made in the last decade. Um, and I don't like that. So I, I do like those. Um, tell Two Sisters, fantastic. Uh, I'm trying to think... Oh, one of the ones that I loved a lot was Martyrs. Uh, that movie is fantastic. It has one of the most painful scenes I've ever seen in my life, and it's something super small, but man, that movie freaking rules. So yes, I do love um, I do love horror movies, and that's actually a good idea. Uh, I will check out the new French extremity uh, stuff. Like, I'm, I'm super down for that. Uh, French films are good in general, anyway. I love like like Amelie and stuff, which has nothing to do with horror, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, plus it's a good way to learn a language. A little side plug there. Okay, we got more from Language Running Rounds. Uh, the original Last House on the Left was effed up. I watched it when I was about 18 or 19, and it effed me apart. I've been a huge horror fan since I was like six. That's what I grew up watching. That's hilarious, man. I never would have pegged you for a horror fan. Like, uh, I, I don't know why, but like, that, it's funny, man. I guess people, I guess people love horror movies. Uh, I actually think horror uh, generally is a lot lighter than it used to be. Like Last House on the Left was terrifying, but how real? Um, but how real it could be in the slow build was amazing. The remake wasn't bad, but it definitely lost uh, a lot of what made the original good. I can agree with that. I thought I thought it was all right. Um, I, I didn't hate it by any means, but yeah, I, I definitely um, I definitely can understand what you're saying there. Typically, Wes Craven remakes are good compared to the other remakes. I sobbed when that man died. He is a legend. Yeah, I was really sad when Wes died as well, man. Uh, I don't like when anybody dies, but definitely. Um, someone I grew up watching their films, so I, I can agree with that. Um, absolutely. Big Noise Game and Food Reviews, second. All right, fantastic. Welcome. Muhammad Tomor Mimam is first. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Kulabrik, I hope you settled into your place and have to, uh, and have to deal with crazy companies. Probably don't have to deal with crazy companies, or maybe you do. I don't know. Um, yeah, man. I hope we get settled in soon, too, but... That will come in good time. <laughs> dang, dang, dude, three days and you're still moving. When I gotta get the, uh, I once moved in just 14 hours. Yeah, man, we're we're getting there. Like I said, um, today I actually we didn't move anything today. I didn't even pack anything today. Like since Sunday, or Saturday when we started moving, I've seen Noah for about maybe 20 minutes, and that's not okay with me. Um, and I know that I could have like banged all this out real quick and got it done, but like. Man, today I just said no. I told Tracy, I said, I'm not doing anything today, man. I need to spend time with my son. And uh, and that's what I did. So we got off work and uh, I hung out with him until he went to bed. Like, And I didn't think about anything except for just paying attention to him. So uh, that is what I did today. Ricky Douglas, we have Dish. Yeah, um, we. I can't remember what the deal was with Rick. We were going to cancel. Um, when we move, we're just gonna have internet and do like PlayStation View, and then we have like Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. Uh, just prices on this stuff is getting ridiculous. When we signed up for Direct, we had there was some kind of crazy deal where you got it for a year or two for like sixty dollars or something like that. Um, plus, it's got like a massive DVR and multi-room stuff uh, and all that stuff. So that's why we went with Direct TV. I just moved to Ashland City. Yeah, I hate Comcast. Where is Ashland City? I'm going to Google that real quick. I don't know if this is going to pop up on your screen or not. Ashland City. Where is that? Tennessee. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. That's right, because I think I remember you saying earlier that you were from, like, Knoxville or something like that. So that's super, super cool. Moving sucks, man. It's such a hassle. I just moved to Tallahassee. Cool. I know some people from Tallahassee, man. One of my good, good friends, Joe, lives in Tallahassee. He does well. He lives in Tallahassee, but he travels a lot. So uh, Tallahassee seems like a cool area. I also have a cousin that lives there as well. Um, See, so yeah, that's super super cool. Florida seems. I know I have I have a one of my best friends lives in Florida, and uh, so I hear a lot about like the climate and stuff like that. And like, 
me and Tracy have talked about moving before. Well, we're obviously moving now, but like, I couldn't live further south, man. Like, I don't do well with the heat in general. Um, I had a heat stroke like. God, I guess it's probably been a decade ago at this point. No, it's been more than a decade ago. Jesus, what year is this? 2018? Yeah, it's been more than 10 years ago. That's nuts. But I, if I start to get too, too hot, and not from, like, running or, you know, like, anything like that, like, not, like, some sort of laborious thing, but, like, if it just naturally gets hot and I start sweating, like, my body will start going into, like, this weird panic. I don't know if it thinks it's going back into that state or what the deal is, but, uh, yeah, man, uh... So I don't know if I could move south. That was kind of a far-fetched and long story uh, just for the comment of uh, talking about Tallahassee. But that is it. So let's continue on here. I don't think there's many more. Hello. Oh, oh, that's Harvey. Okay, Harvey, yeah. uh, Because I said it's starting to get echoey in here. Progress. Happy for you. Yes, we are are making it. I know this is two days ago. We've made a little bit more progress. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see your new place. Are you moving far? I am not moving far, um, but it, it is not in Falls Mills. Uh, we're moving more so towards Bluefield, but um, it's the same general area. I'll still be in Tazewell County, so not too, too bad there. Ricky Douglas, you're welcome. Probably something I'm, I'm sure I commented. There's another one. Okay, another I moved to Tallahassee. That is cool. Uh, yes, moving sucks, but it's all worth it. I hope so. Um, it's going to be cool to not be paying just into a bottomless pit of rent, but it does suck that we're still going to have to pay a bunch of money. There's Muhammad first again. Super cool. Bonantagon. Oh, I've already answered this one. Bonantagon. Bonantagon. Um, yeah, so I am going to end it here. Uh, that may not be overly entertaining for you guys. Hopefully it was. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I just wanted to do something different besides stupid little update video. Not that I have problems with those, but I thought that, that would be a better idea. So I may record a couple of videos like this in advance just to have some better content out for you guys. I don't really know because uh, I don't want to just stick to the update stuff because I'm going to be busy all weekend. So, But we'll see. Um, but... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow.